sunshine whose task is to obscure and not release the whole truth and nothing but the whole truth. Thank you. Have a nice day. I'm trying to remember seeing so this last time. He should not be included in this at all. Um, I also want to say that we have been here numerous times on this issue. Um, it has gone, been referred by your task force to the Ethics Commission. The Ethics Commission chose not to hear the item. They always um, they choose did not to. The staff's report saying that we were in compliance. Unless it's against Ross. And that we were. Um, following the city attorney's advice. Um, we continue to do that. I want to clarify um, how we're doing the minutes now, what Mr. Harsh was referring to. When he comes to the library commission, he has a sheet of paper that he reads into the minutes. He hands me that paper. Those comments go into the minutes verbatim. Um, the other person, the anonymous citizen, sends his sometimes two weeks later he goes, he gets up, he makes his comments. Maybe two weeks later, I get a copy of his summaries. Those are put in as an addendum. Because I can't take, because I can't take this. Mm. Um, since this initially came to the task force, we have added a sentence at where the speaker is speaking that says, please refer to the addendum for comments. So that is within the body, and they know that there are comments. It's uh, into the body to circumvent the law, which states that they must be listed specifically at the point. Thank you. 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 I just, um, the complainant is confused about what your policy is, and I uh, think I understand it a little bit better since I heard you spoke, but I want to make sure that I understand it. So what you're doing now is um, if a member of the public speaks um, at the meeting and simultaneously hands you um, a 150, up to 150 word summary of the remarks that were read verbatim, or even not. Well, they're verbatim. He reads the statement. Okay. So that statement that he reads is then placed in the minutes. In the minutes. Now, if someone were to speak and um, for maybe a little bit more than 150 words, but would, would then say, here's a 150 word summary that I would like to be placed in the minutes. You would do that. Then I need too. the additional summary. In his 150 word statement is there. If he went on for another minute and a half, there's a summary of what that additional minute and a half. Right, but the person who has been speaking and has not read the 150 word summary verbatim, but then says, here's a what I would like to go into the minutes, you would put that in the minutes as well. As an addendum. Because they come in after the fact. They're not reading their statement. I get a copy of this summary, sometimes, like I said, two weeks after the meeting. I don't know what that summary is, whether that summary is accurate or not. I don't know if he's made changes to what he actually said in the commission meeting or not. So we, we include those as an addendum, and I do a full summary of what that person said in the body of the minutes. So they're getting both. So everybody's getting it in right. the body. Right, I guess I'm, I'm <laughs> there's a third possibility. So there's, there's the possibility of, uh, there's Mr. Hartz who actually reads his summary, and he might have some other things to say too. I'm talking about, I know this is a fine point, but um, I'm talking about the person who speaks for a time, and at that moment, not day, 
days later or weeks later, but it says, I would like this is how I would like my summary to read in the minutes and gives you that, then you would put that in the body of the minutes. Um, right? That has not occurred, that specific instance, um, but I think I would look at it as I would to somebody, if it was not read verbatim, I would still take that as to use for the summary, but it would not be verbatim in the minutes. Would it be in the body? Summary, and their summary may have things in it that they actually didn't say at the meeting, that they you know, wanted to add to get in. And that's, um, we're not putting those in the minutes. And we're being consistent with the city attorney's advice and the ethics commission not ruling that they did go here because they said we were We understand. We, okay, just for the new members' um, edification, this um, matter has been before us multiple times and the task force has deliberated for many hours about the issue of 150 words summary in the minutes. And, you know, going by the, we, we thought that going by the, the strict plain English understanding, it would make sense that this 150 word summary should be in the body of the minutes. And actually Mr. Hart has been very helpful in explaining uh, further the rationale for doing that from a free speech First Amendment position because um, you, uh, you can understand that someone is speaking and uh, perhaps in the moment of speaking um, doesn't, is not as articulate as he or she would have been in thinking about it and writing about it. So they have this, okay, this is what I really want to be reflected. And before, those were just tacked on at the end. There was no pointer to them. They wouldn't come up if somebody were looking at the minutes online and they were just buried. So it was really, we felt an infringement of their First Amendment rights. So we've been um, clear in ruling after ruling that the summary should be in the body of the minutes. And I was just trying to, in my questions, understand the nuances of all that, and it can get pretty nuanced, as you can see. But um, Ms. Blackman and others who, this may have come up with other bodies, but, um, or certainly could, will argue, well, the city attorney reads the ordinance and says we don't have to put them in the body of the, of the minutes, and the ethics commission doesn't want to touch this. Um, that's been very frustrating. Um, so the city attorney may have an opinion about this. You know, another deputy city attorney may have a different opinion. We have, as the body who oversees enforcement of this, we've decided that plain English understanding is what should, what should be um, in place. Um, in the future, um, you know, if the ordinance is amended, well, it will be amended, that that will be cleaned up, so there's no, no doubt. But, um, I, remember, and you could help me if you have any, remember, Monet, um, anything further about this? Well, I just had a question, though. And when you said, a point, in the past, as a Pointer, for example, if they said, you know, C number one through five comments, and then they were attached, but it was in the body C, these specific comments. No, there was no comments. Pointers. Were numbered. Those summaries were numbered. Was was did, was that sufficient in the past, or was that insufficient in the past? <coughs> the point. I think I'm, I'm talking about. Well, that wasn't that wasn't reliably done, and also a problem would then come up with trying to find these things online. If you went to look at the minutes, they weren't always, those amendments weren't always, the amended stuff wasn't always attached, does it, you know, so. So, you know, they were sent essentially buried in the back when we thought, why not, you know, it's not like they're really long, they kind of, you know, they, they're pertinent to the agenda item in the context of the discussion. Put them in there, you know, we, we thought that made sense. and. I don't, I don't know why it's been so hard. Because the city attorney ruled they didn't have to and ethics didn't well, pick it up. I'll have some comments uh, when it comes time to make a motion. Um, I have a question. Um, just I think you could answer the um, representative from the library, um, Ms. Blackman. Just to be clear, so what we're trying to do is get the public comment in the body of the actual minutes. So what Mr. Hart's asked for, that seems kind of rational. So if someone came 
in today, another person in today, and had a piece of paper that kind of summed up what they wanted to say, you would include that. If someone sent that stuff to you later, you put it in the that as an addendum to the Even if, if it was it at not, this meeting? Yes. The recorded, you know, I, my understanding is that the um, recording is the official recording of the minutes. So if you were to go to a court and say, what are the official minutes, it would be the DVD or the tape recording, not a summary that somebody came up with after with what they thought they had wanted to say that they didn't say or that they didn't get up and articulate. That's why when Mr. Hart reads his, it goes in as written. But if it's a summary and it's not, you know, beyond what they say at the microphone, that shouldn't be included as part, that's not part of the official record. But yeah, other than that being at the addendum. And, and, and to be fair, we have always had those attachments, those, that addendum online. It has never been separate from the minutes. When you click on the minutes on the website, you go down, you just scroll down to the end of the minutes, and there they are. Um, they've never not been included. So but she doesn't talk about pointing the to them the task force, online. The first round on this was we did add the comment in the in the minutes where the speaker has spoken, we said, please see addendum for full summary of the speaker's comments. But, but your addendum, when you when you did the pointer, even when you did the pointer, mm -hmm. it just pointed to the, the addendum, not specifying which comments related to which No, it issue. does. The addendum has by item, mm -hmm. so if there were more than one person, it would say item number one, it would say anonymous citizen said his comments. Then if Mr. Warfield said something, we say Peter Warfield said and his comments. Mm -hmm. So it is by item and it is very easy to locate and very, I mean, I have a sample of the minutes if you want to see it. Um, Can I see the minutes? I missed the heart minutes are subject to the complaint of the ones that I just talked referred to uh, that have the, the changes in them because all the ones I have are ones where they didn't include them in the, in the minutes they put them as an addendum and now they've started 